Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's Grade 6, Unit 1, Lesson 12, Practice Problems Review is on what is surface area. In our first question, we're asked to calculate the surface area of this rectangular prism. And we're given four choices. Well, this side has a length of 2, a length of 4, and a length of 4. And if we just focus on one side at a time here, if I focus on this side here, this is 4 by 4, so the area of that is going to be 4 times 4, which is 16. Now, if I decide to focus on this side here, that area is going to be 4 times 2, which is 8. Then I have my last side up top, or at least my third side, I won't call it my last necessarily, and that's 4 by 2, and still, you could still even count that there's going to be 8 there. Now, when I add those three faces up, I get 16 plus 8 plus 8, which is 32. And hey, look, B says 32 is an answer, but B is not our answer. There are six faces of a re this rectangular prism. Three of them are hidden that you can't see. So what we really need to do to finish this question now is to take 32 times 2 to get 64 to account for the half of the rectangular prism that we cannot see. And so D, 64 square units, is our solution to question number 1. As we look at question 2, which description can represent the surface area of this trunk? A the number of square inches that cover the top of the trunk, B, the number of square feet that cover all the outside faces of the trunk, C, the number of square inches of horizontal surface inside the trunk, or D, the number of cubic feet that can be packed inside the trunk. Well, D is volume, so it's not D. The number of square feet in, or square inches of horizontal surface inside the trunk, we're really not dealing with inside the trunk right now. A was the number of square inches that cover the top of the trunk. Well, surface area is more than that. Surface area is the number of square feet that cover all the outside faces of the trunk. So that's question two. In question three, we are asked which figure has the greater surface area. Well, remember, we can only see half of the faces here, and I like how they're colored. One, two, three, four, five for the yellow. 1, 2, 3 for the blue, 1, 2, 3 for the green, which gives us 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 3 is 11, but we do need to multiply by 2 to get 22 square units for that solution. And B, let's look at the yellows. We see 1, 2, 3 of them. The blues, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the greens, one, two, three. That also adds up to 11. And when I multiply that by two to get the other half I cannot see, I once again get 22 square units. So which figure has the greater surface area? They are both the same. A rectangular prism in question four is four units high two units wide and six units long. What is the surface area in square units? Explain or show your reasoning. Well, let's remember that we have six faces to a rectangular prism. And one of them is going to be this front side here. That's four by six. When I take four times six, I get 24. But there's two of these, so that's 48 for those two. What about this top side here? Well, I know this length is going to be six and the up and down portion of this is two. So I have a two by six. Well, two times six gets me 12. And again, if I double that for the bottom side that we cannot see in my drawing, that's 24. What about this side over here? Looks like it's going to be 2 by 4. 
And so 2 by 4, so 2 times 4 is 8, and double that to get 16. Then add up those six sides, 48, 24, and 16 for those six faces, because remember we doubled it already, and we get 18, 5, 6, 7, 8, 88 square units is my solution to question number four. In question five, we need to draw an example of each of these triangles on the grid. First one is a right triangle with an area of six square units. Well, remember, base times height divided by two in this question is going to need to equal six. So whatever I do up top is going to need to be 12. So thinking three times four, six times two, things like that, because then I divide it by two and I need to get six. So if I just start off for A, how about with a base of two? I can then have a height of that six, two, three, four, five, six. So when I bring this down, I have a right angle here. Six times two is 12 divided by two gets me that area of six. Now an acute triangle. Well, what if I do a base of four this time? One, two, three, four along this bottom side here. That means I need to go up three because four times three is 12. Well, if I go straight up here, three units, when I connect these together. 4 times 3 is that 12 divided by 2 is 6 and all three of these angles are less than 90 so they are acute and they do have an area of 6. So there was A, here's B and now it's time for C. An obtuse triangle, so an angle bigger than 90 degrees. Well if I still have this base of 4 but instead of coming straight up for a right triangle or in to close the angle, what if I come out same height of three, but this time I connect that. That's acute, that's acute, but this one here, this would be 90 coming straight up here. This one's definitely bigger than 90 degrees, so that is an example of an obtuse triangle. Question number six asks us to find the area of triangle MOQ, which MOQ is this blue one, in square units and show your reasoning. Well, being on the grid here and they're going through the grids and not um, anything right on the grid, straight up or um, across. So we have some work to do here. The first thing I think we need to do, let's find the area of this rectangle. So if I find the area of the entire rectangle of R, P, N, M, this has length 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 coming down. The entire rectangle, length times width, 10 times 6 is 60. Now, for our strategy here, the entire thing is 60. If I get rid of these three triangles, what I'm going to be left with is the blue one, and that's what we're looking for. So we need to find the area next. Let's go to this triangle here. This is triangle R, Q, M. Well, one, two, three, four, five from R to Q. One, two, three, four, five, six from R to M. Those are my bases and heights. The area for a triangle is base times height divided by two. So five times six divided by two is 30. Divided by two is 15. So this represents an area of 15. 
Now, what about, we'll come up here to QPO. From Q to P, one, two, three, four, five. P to O is just two. Once again, if area is equal to base times height divided by two for triangles, that means we're going to have our base of five, a height of two, and divide it by two. So 10 divided by two is five. So this area is five. What about the large triangle down here? This is M N O. Well, O to N, one, two, three, four. M to N, yikes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So a base of ten, a height of four, and once again, area for a triangle is base times height divided by two. That will be ten times four divided by two. Forty divided by two is twenty. So we need now the entire rectangle is 60. The pieces we subtract out are 15, 5, and 20. So if I take the 15, the 5, and the 20, that adds up to 40. That's the area I need to get rid of to find the blue triangle. So 60 minus 40 gets me an area of 20 square units for MOQ. So again, just to recap, we found the area of the large rectangle, we found the area of the three smaller triangles, subtracted those out to get the area of what was left, the blue triangle, M-O-Q. And our last question on this homework practice problem review is find the area of this shape, show your reasoning. Well, if I split this down the middle here, I have two identical triangles. I have a base of three. And now the height looks like it could be tricky, but remember, if you can visualize a parallel line here with this base, then our height is going to simply come up to here from the base. That distance is one, two, three, four, five. It met it at a right angle, and so area for a triangle is base times height divided by two. So three times five divided by two, which is 15 divided by two, which is seven and a half. Now, one of those is seven and a half. Multiply by two to get the other one, which is identical, and we're right back at 15 square units. That is it for this grade six, unit one, lesson 12, practice problems review on what is surface area. Good luck.